when I looked online looking for a video or an explanation to, of how to hang a boxing bag outside on a tree or something else um, I didn't really find a good solution so I kind of figured it out myself and today I want to share with you how I did it um, I received this boxing bag as a gift from my father for Christmas but uh, I don't have a place to hang it inside of my home so right now I'm gonna share uh, with you how I'm doing it um, outside uh, using a tree so uh, what you want to go look for inside of your garden if you have trees that will be ideal um, you're gonna look for a, a branch that is somewhat maybe two three meters uh, of the ground that's around nine feet of the ground uh, and you wanna you're gonna look at the at the branch I hope I got a good shot at, at it okay like this so the branch has one part, one big part going that way, and then a smaller one going that way. And this smaller branch kind of prevents the rope from slipping. So go into your garden and look for a, a, a branch, so something along the lines of this. And uh, this is what you're going to need. So you're going to need a, a ladder to, first of all, step on it uh, yourself. And second of all... Um, use it to temporarily put the boxing bag on so here you see myself uh, myself trying to hang the the rope and uh, like the chains where the where the bag is coming uh, on and that's the first thing you're gonna need the ladder for and then you're gonna adjust the ladder uh, so uh, these are just two pieces of random pieces of wood i found in the garage uh, it don't really matter. It doesn't really matter what you use here. Uh, just make sure uh, you got enough height, and it's right below the uh, the place the, the the place where the branch uh, splits us. So then the next part is to go get the uh, boxing bag, of course, like this, and you place it on the two wooden blocks or one wooden block or whatever doesn't matter. Uh, but what does matter, like I said, is that you make sure it's it's just enough uh, height. It has just enough height to reach the the chains, and then you uh, apply the chains like this. And the next step, if you did that, was to is to remove the the ladder, uh, and that that's why it's important. It's a random piece of yeah, there, that's me. It's a random piece of uh, of wood and not something important. Because then uh, it might break or, or you don't want that to happen. Uh, so that's how you put it on, on the tree. And then you can punch the bag if you want. Uh, and when you're done, you're going to do basically the same, but in reverse. Uh, so you put the ladder on, on the bottom, place the bo blocks on top. But now you're going to lift the bo uh, bag, because it's heavy. You're going to lift the bag and place the other wooden uh, block on, on top of that. And then you can see some of the chains already um, were removed. They 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 got loose by themselves, but you can uh, you can do the rest by hand. Okay. Uh, and that's basically it. Then you go you go back onto the ladder and um, remove the blocks and remove the the rope. Um, I have a. I think I have a quick summary of all. Ja, um, do I have that? I think so. Somewhere here. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, so this is kind of an overview. Okay, yeah. And this is whatever. Forget it. Um, oh, yeah. this is me talking to uh, to my mom. I think. Um, but. I'm gonna show you right now how to attach the the rope. So maybe this is the most important part. Hi everyone. Um, so this is the chain. This this is the thing that comes with uh, with your bag normally, uh, and the blue part is what I attach to it. And you want you 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 basically. I'm gonna make it loose for you. Hold on one second. Untie the crap out of this rope. Okay. Okay, um, so this is just a circle piece of rope. It needs to be strong enough, of course, to hold the bag. 
and then it's up to you how long you want to make this it depends on how high the branch is it depends on how long your bag is but you can as you can see i i also tried a bit uh and, and you can make knots in it to make it shorter uh but you, the, the the point is that you have a circle that's the that's the most important part and then to attach the the rope to the to this one uh to the chain you take a take a piece of rope put it through like this and then you put your hand through the through the circle you just made and you take the rest of the blue rope or whatever rope you're using and you pull it through the circle like this and now you you've got a strong attachment to the chain but now you still need to have a strong attachment to the tree and this is how you do it it's basically the same thing uh, as you did with uh the the circle here and on the chain okay so hold on one second imagine this is the branch this is uh just a yeah it, just a piece of cardboard um but you can imagine this is uh this is the tree you want to again take the circle put it on top of the on, on top of the tree the tree branch and then again you have uh the the circle that comes on the bottom i'm gonna untie untwist it so it's easier to see and then you take is you, you you pull it you kind of pull it down and then you pull through the rest of the chain and this is difficult to do if you're both the tree and the, the person who's trying to hold it but then that's that's again what you want and now you keep pulling keep pulling keep pulling and now you've got a strong attachment to the tree and now you'll see why it's important for uh, the tree to have a side branch you can of course make this by yourself but if you don't have it it will just keep strolling to the stem of the tree and then you can't uh, use the boxing bag of course um also make sure the attachment point of the branch is not too far away from the base of the tree because otherwise your uh, tree branch might snap because it has a long moment arm. Um, that's something to keep in mind. I think that was it.